What could you lock with a bike lock and cause the most chaos? Always bring a bike lock with you when you're out searching for your stolen bike. That way if you find it, you can prevent the thief from leaving before you get their lock off. In a car wheel, extra points for taking off the hubcap, locking the rim to the frame, and then putting the hubcap back on so it can't be seen. My school locked the boys' bathroom door with a bike lock because they were using it for drugs and vaping. This caused people to be late for class because the other boys' bathroom was at the other end of the school. As you can imagine, wait time to use the bathroom was also increased, which didn't help the situation whatsoever. The kid I babysit threw a tantrum during lunch and while I was eating with his siblings. He ran upstairs and locked the handle of two doors together so neither could be open. Thus preventing that no one could enter their room, it was the room with all the toys in it. Actually at my old work we had a shed in back that was holding some more important things. I was the only one the three remembered the bike lock code, my supervisor. Me. And another co-worker, so would open it every morning then have my co-worker close it in the evening since he was usually evening shift and I was morning. Now at one point. They made the biggest mistake of their lives. Now for reference. My supervisor was like another mom to me and I was really close with my co-worker, we both had mental health problems that we talked to each other about. So one day. They fire me for reasons. So I leave and let my co-worker and supervisor know. Co-worker then quits that night after locking the bike lock. Supervisor decides to take a week off suddenly, due to health issues, and turns off her phone. The next morning. They realize that oh the shed is still locked. It takes them an week and they end up breaking the handles and having to get a new lock. Along with that. The shed held animal food that they needed. They had to buy the food at 50 pounds bags for tilde $60 each for the week. At least two per days. Note that I had nothing to do with this and co-worker and supervisor knew that the animals would be fine. It was pretty much just chaos and an inconvenience for a week. According to another ex-co-worker. They ran around like headless chickens for almost an hour before they actually had to go get the food and do things. Every hour she would see someone trying to open the shed. The entire week they didn't even think to text me or co-worker and supervisor had no texts waiting either. So. They're also just idiots. Edit. There's also another bike lock holding gate closed that is rarely used but is used occasionally for big things. I'm the only one who knows how to open and close it since it can be tricky. Can't wait to hear about that one. My suggestion is locking it on a roller coaster's rail on the fastest part. Watch the people fly. Airplanes have a slot on the yoke for a control lock to keep the surfaces fluttering around in the wind. Some people do not check this before takeoff. If you put a bike lock in there you'd cause some chaos. This is my greatest revenge story of how I used a bike lock to lock two car wheels together. I guess this fits here. Dude in high school thought it would be funny to take my laptop and smash it. Granted I had already ordered a new one. But it really me off. Few hours later me and my pal on our off period decided to bike lock the dude's car wheels together. We did the front and back tires on the right side and then waited. When he tried to back out it actually the wheels up so bad he had to call a tow truck to get the car. You could lock a rival meth dealer in your basement. I think that one ended in some chaos. Help. Someone locked me to a pole with a bike lock. Yep. Well. Seeing as I have a bike lock and an opportunity to cause the most chaos. Yes. The doors of a PPE factory. I could literally kill someone with that. Put it around a man's ankles. Any kind of hacksaw or brute force would break his legs too. Quite a predicament. With a blood dripping meat piece and a note saying. Not human just pork, haha. This is very dark and NSFW. But the school hall doors during a shooting from the movie we need to talk about Kevin. The door to the toilets. Just imagine having the and running to the WCs only to find that the door is locked. A department store on Black Friday. After everyone runs in. I witnessed an ultimate frisbee club hazing prank where a U-lock was put around one of the younger members while he was passed out. When he woke up it was an ugly scene. Lots of chaos. Bolted one of those wire bike locks around the waist of some douchebag that tried to rape a girl. I happened to be in the right place at the right time. He didn't know I was there so I slowly got off my mountain bike. 
Got my bike lock walked up to the guy from behind making a hush gesture to her. I waited for him to get close enough to a street light and then wrapped that thing around his waist and locked it. Waited for the police who were quickly at the scene. Not sure. But he may have gotten angry by hearing his vocabulary. A child handcuffed around the bike in a pole. Bonus points for shaved hair and tape around his mouth edit. Miss Reed. We once locked a porta potty at a well-known music festival with a combo lock. It lasted a day. They brought bolt cutters the next day. It was glorious we had a private place that was clean to use the bathroom. Choke Bill Gates to death with it. Dissolve his flesh. Leaving just his bones and connective tissues. Maybe a couple eyes. Then use it to hang him from the roof of his family home. Make it obvious it was a murder. But take every possible precaution to leave no evidence. If it works properly. The entire world will feel the backlash for decades. Nuclear progression will slow to a snail's pace. Disease will run rampant throughout Africa. The terrorists reveling in successfully blocking polio vaccines. All of his future projects and solutions will disappear with him forever. Leaving the world woeful for the coming future. And no one but me would know who to blame. You chaos. I'll bring you chaos. Like why though? What is the point of asking this question lol? Two massively powered magnets. Facing opposes to each other. Causing giant magnet to flying around endlessly. Kids in a burning orphanage. Slightly smiling face. Open doors of two adjacent cars. Roll down windows and lock the doors with the bike lock. A revolutionary meeting house. Where the revolutionaries want to depose me. And that forces them to use a tennis court. I've never thought about this before. But I've just realized that you could take the house keys of everyone living in your street and bike lock them together. Cue everyone breaking into their own houses. The fridge to stop my cousin from eating snacks at 3 a.m. stone. Definitely cause some. Light an orponingay on fire and bike lock it. Or bike lock two random bike together that aren't mine. I could lock the bike lock onto train lines. And maybe attach a bomb. After recently. I'd say the grocery store. Never seen people freak out at each other so much than I have at the grocery store the past couple months. The hardware store. How are they going to get bolt cutters now? Lock a school cafeteria shut with bike locks. Most cafeteria have double door entrances. The gate to area 51. If the aliens can't leave. Then neither can the staff. The best thing I can think of is a rock. With a warning sign that says, do not free the beast it will destroy, followed by a bunch of scribbles and bloodstains. Given it that Hollywood be dazzle. So? You're asking for a friend? I'd say the control stick to a passenger plane that's flying over a crowded stadium that's hosting the Super Bowl. Have it knife through at a 45 degree angle should be enough to take out the stands. Field and maybe parts of the car park alternatively find a skyscraper or is it too soon? Lock the wheel to the frame. That bike ain't going nowhere. Someone else's bike to a bike rack. Not technically illegal just a massive move. Hair salons. Apparently. Depending on he size of the lock. You could shackle two people together by the neck. A store full of toilet paper. Hand sanitizer. And masks. Rotating doors I guess they're called? English is not my first language, to their frame. People tend to get more distracted when using them than regular doors. And assume they'll just work. So any rotating door to a building would ensure at least fun interactions from a viewer's perspective. My friend once told me that some stupid kid from his school locked himself from the neck into a street lamp made out of steel with a solid bike lock. You know. The type of lock that isn't made out of thick steel wire that can be altered. But solid steel rods that stay in one shape. The football. The one in the White House. I remember in the early 2000s there were videos a guy used to make. His name was Jigaboo Jones the self-proclaimed number one nigget R in America that filmed his self-commenting actual crimes. One of his videos he took a bunch of bike locks and put them on police cruisers through the rims through the door handles so they couldn't open them. Stupid yes but to my 15 yo mind the greatest thing I've ever seen. According to Bosnian Bill or lockpicking lawyer. All. Through the crown jewels. Don't know how I'd manage it. But if I did. Oh boy the chaos. In high school my stepdad's friends locked one of those U-locks that you can't cut through on a girl's neck and flushed the key down a toilet. 
It was just small enough to not get over her jaw. We used to cause a lot of chaos by locking the gas valves of fast food restaurants. It's still really easy to do. All you need is a spanner and a lock.